hello and welcome back to my youtube channel how y'all doing thank you guys for <laughs> showing me some love my last video there was quite some engagement which is which was actually this pre poor video so today i'm filming a video about my wash day and you know my wash day actually starts with a pre poor so hence i'm adding this short clip of my pre poor video and if you haven't watched it please click the link above or check in the description box for this particular wash day video and let's get into it so my wash day like i said typically starts with my pre pool saturate my hair with whatever pre pool of choice for this particular day it was this amazing mixture of ingredients that just helps to bust shedding strengthens our hair and you know improve shine in our hair and after this i tell i'll tell you the truth my hair was thoroughly you know saturated with this and it felt so good the sleep was amazing and i can't complain so here on this particular wash day i typically wash my hair standing up and with a shower overhead but this particular wash day it was that time of the month and i wasn't about to get wet from top to bottom i also didn't want to feel cold so i decided to wash in the tub so you can see my little munchkin saying hello to you all so you know typically wash day starts with me saturating my hair i totally saturate my hair with water you know you don't just want to go from dry hair to just applying shampoo and already my hair is not dry hair because that pre poo was really moisturizing like my hair was already really saturated with moisture but i still have to go in i want to rinse off some of the pre poo so that the shampoo doesn't have a lot of work to do so i take my time to thoroughly saturate my hair and rinse off the pre poo from my hair then i get ready to shampoo i've been washing my hair in twist lately so i use a band to hold it so that it stays in place without matting up then i apply my shampoo this day i'm using jack is well for african black soap shampoo and i apply it <laughs> sorry i always smell things you know i apply it to my scalp and because there's a lot of um, product in my scalp you know i tend to just want to rinse off the first batch so that the shampoo can actually see you know effectively work so that's what i did i like to shampoo two to three times to just ensure that my scalp is thoroughly cleansed so try to make sure that your scalp is clean <laughs> don't just go in and come out So now I have finished washing. So my hair is freshly washed, and you can see the curls are still popping. Pop, pop, pop you know, so I'll now go in with my deep conditioner. But already I was tying um, my head wrap, and I think I stayed too long because I had other things to do. So my hair was a bit dried out. I usually would typically apply my deep conditioner in the shower but because like i said i washed my hair over the top i didn't do that and i wanted to film the, this part for you guys so here i am applying my deep conditioner to my hair and guys take your time to work in your products okay my hair is low in porosity so it, this is inevitable for me like i thoroughly need to massage this product into my hair strands or else what's the point you know so i thoroughly massage and pressing this product into my strands you know making sure that i smooth out the product with my strands and please pay attention to your ends do not ignore it remember they are the oldest part of our hair and they need all the love and tears they can get okay so here i'm just showing you the products i'm using which is the jackets bella fro aloe and shea moisturizing deep conditioner so I have to spray on a little bit of water because my hair really you know there wasn't really a lot of water in my hair at the time you know so I just wanted to have more glide and all of that so that's what I'm doing and I continue to press in and massage my hair with this goodness so just make sure to take time and thoroughly saturate your hair with your deep conditioner you know, love on every strand is important that you just take good care of it. I'll take it 
time I remove the shed hair, yeah, I'm just showing you guys how late my hair is shedding per section. Yeah, it's previously shed during the pre pull but it's nothing. So here, I'm separating the hair into two just to make sure that the products also get in between because when you have thick hair, the chances that the middle of your hair might not even be getting the product is very high. So when I'm done with that section, I just twist it up and move to the next session so and then i'll repeat it all over my head and get ready to go under the steamer so three sections down and one last one to go so this is a bigger section so I start to apply my deep conditioner make sure you get in there you know obviously I knew there was no way what I was doing was getting in so you would watch I, you could see I had to pat the hair into two just so that the products get in between the hair. So it's very important that you do, you take your hair in smaller sections or you part your hair as you're applying your products. So rake it through your hair, <laughs> just to ensure that the product is getting into your strands. And So here I spray on some wa some more water because I realized my hair was a bit dry. It was drying out already and I wanted to have um, a bit of glide. So I had to just spray on some water. Uh, well, you can skip this step if you, if your hair is already, or if you're doing it in the shower, you don't really need to. But water always just helps to spread products. On our head so it's important to just add up when you feel the need to yeah finally we're all done with the sections and time to steam my hair I think I lost footage of doing that so but I'm sure I've done that in previous videos I probably will just link a video of how I steam my hair so here I'm just doing a comparison between the shedding before the during the pre pull and the shedding during the deep conditioning and remember like i said i had my braids in for two weeks so it's nothing really compared to what we used to do before now like what this hair was doing so i really i really you know can see that the hair is really healthier it's stronger and it's not pulling as it used to so thank you lord for that you know so I'm just applying a little bit more like around the edges or so because you know <laughs> we're extra like that yeah so guys let's steam our hair so I'm done steaming my hair like I said the footage <laughs> I didn't get the footage so I'm just I'm done steaming and I have gone up and rinsed off and there was no way I was going to record the rinsing off process again I just was tired on this day I just wanted to get my hair moisturized and then put it in a stretch style so I decided to go with African treading on this day because I wanted to 
you know, do a style for my birthday. I wanted a stress style. I wanted to install like a call former. But just in case, I don't know which of the videos will go up first. I ended up not. Well, let me not spoil it for you guys. You guys should go watch that video and all. sister in the background is you know bringing out a thread for the african threading so i'm using brazilian wool or yarn whichever one you call it wherever you are so initially i wanted to do like a an intricate threading but man i was tired so here i was just showing you guys my butter cream and I'll be applying my leave-in and the buttercream. So here I'm applying the leave-in, which is a L in the L C O method liquid leave-in. Thoroughly, just the way we apply that deep conditioner and paying attention to our ends. Massage it in. Per usual and apply the butter to seal and then get ready for treading. I'd lightly comb it out and we proceed. So that section was actually quite big so I had to further divide it out so that I can actually work in smaller sections. And so I further finger the tangle, the clumps so that it will be easy to walk through. And I take my comb again starting from the ends and walk my way up. See the shrinkage, <laughs> the way the hair really shrunk up immediately. Shrinkage is real, guys. Shrinkage is real. But when I'm mad, when I'm mad at all. So I'll just probably comb my hair so that I can actually just install my African threading. I doubt if I caught a video doing that, but then. It's a no-brainer, it's just wrapping rope around your head. And after a couple of days, it's wonderfully stretched. that section up so that it's easy it doesn't tangle back up and it's easier for my sister to just put it in the african trident so i just repeat this all over my head and voila we're ready for treading guys for sticking around to see my wash day i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed and if you haven't please subscribe don't forget to comment in the comment section and please share with your friends and family and <laughs> anyone you can see okay so also please let me know what content you would like to see in the comment section Alright, thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.